In this video, I'm going to briefly discuss the central dogma of molecular biology. So what it is and the process of it going on within the cell. So the bare bones of the central dogma of molecular biology are pretty straightforward, and that is this idea that information flows from DNA, where it's stored long term, to RNA. In other words, an RNA copy of that information is taken to protein. So the information copy of RNA is used to build a protein. So how is this done in the cell? So first, we'll look at this step number one, DNA to RNA, which is known as transcription because we're transcribing, we're taking a copy of the DNA message in RNA. So over here I've drawn a cartoon of a eukaryotic cell, just a big fancy word for a cell with a nucleus like our cells. And if I zoom in here on the DNA, you can see here's a segment of DNA of which I'm going to make an RNA copy. The first thing that happens is that DNA is separated. So it's two strands are separated from each other. So that special proteins can use one of the DNA strands as a template for building an RNA strand. And this happens by complementary base pairing. So for instance, if this is the sequence of the DNA strand. This here will be the sequence of the RNA strand. And hopefully you can see that. So this is just to get the idea that the sequence of this RNA strand is determined through complementary base pairing with the DNA strand. So this RNA molecule is made in that way. And then if we're in a eukaryotic cell, a cell with the nucleus, that RNA molecule leaves the nucleus. So it has carried the message of that information that was stored in DNA out of the nucleus of the cell. So then the second step, RNA to protein, is known as translation. So I'm taking a message that's in the language of nucleotides in RNA, and I'm translating it into the language of amino acids in a protein. So I can zoom in on this to take a brief look at basically how that happens. So here's my RNA. And a machine that's made out of a combination of RNA and protein called a ribosome is going to latch on to this mRNA. And it's going to be responsible for building the protein. Only it's got helpers called tRNA molecules. And each type of tRNA molecule has two important parts. One is a part where it attaches to an amino acid up here, and another part is where it has a piece of RNA right here that's going to match up with the mRNA, again, through complementary base pairing. So this is going to enter the ribosome, match up, with the part of the RNA where it fits and drop off its amino acid. And then the ribosome is going to move on to the next part of the RNA and do the same thing for the next part of the message it's carrying. So a tRNA will come in and drop off another amino acid. And this will keep happening 
and the ribosome will keep adding new amino acids to the chain until it reaches the part of the message that says, okay, stop, you're done. And the result will be a fully formed polypeptide chain or protein, which is now made here in the cell. So once again, keep in mind that all of this, what it's accomplishing is taking information that's stored for the long term in the DNA, making an RNA copy of that that can then be read as instructions for building a protein.